There are so many ways to make money in real estate. You can wholesale, flip homes, develop new builds, buy and hold rental properties, and so many more. But we do feel that there is a difference between creating a job for yourself and actually investing in real estate. So a big question we hear all the time is, should I flip or should I rent? What is up everyone, Kyle and Lauren here from Rentals to Wealth, and we are gonna break down why we believe the best path for wealth creation is to buy a property and hold on to it. If you're ready to learn, lock it in by hitting that like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more of our videos. When you wholesale or flip a property, you're working towards a single payable transaction instead of holding an asset that will pay you a reoccurring payable transaction. In the middle of the COVID pandemic, we closed on a three bedroom property. Could we have renovated it and sold it for a great profit? 100%. But we're gonna go through the five reasons why we prefer rentals over flips and how we ended up getting the best of both worlds with this deal. The first reason we love rentals is the reoccurring cash flow. A good buy and hold rental property will create income from rents that will not only offset expenses and debt service, but will also generate a positive monthly cash flow month after month. Once you sell a flip or wholesale a property, your profit ends. In rentals, it just keeps on coming. The second reason is appreciation. Depending on market conditions, your cash flow generating property will also increase in value year after year. So not only are you profiting each month, you're also creating long-term wealth. The third reason we love rentals so much is principal pay down. Each month you receive rent, a portion goes to pay back the mortgage. And yes, while a chunk does go towards interest, some of that goes to pay down the existing balance. So after 30 years or however long you took the loan out for, you now have a completely paid off house without spending any of your own money. Basically, your tenants bought you a house on top of the monthly cash flow that you made each month. The fourth and final reason are tax advantages. When you flip a house, the biggest con is that you have to pay taxes on that gain once you make the sale. Not so much with the case with rentals, thanks to depreciation. Wait, didn't we just talk about appreciation a few minutes ago? Yep, but surprisingly, depreciation is a good thing. That makes sense. The IRS allows you to write off the value of any property over 27 and a half years, which counts as negative income, but it's only negative on paper, assuming that you're maintaining the property using a portion of the rental income. So the depreciation losses usually wipe out most of the positive cash flow the property generates and removes most tax obligations. Not paying as much in taxes allows you to keep more money in your pocket or to invest in more real estate. Now I know we're really beating up on flipping, wholesaling, and other single transaction based work, but they do have a time and place. These jobs are great for earning extra income more quickly. But if you want long-term wealth, rentals is where it's at. Let's circle back to that property we mentioned earlier. If we renovated it and sold it, we would have made about 30 to 35,000. That's a nice number for a couple months of work. But let's look at it now that we kept it as a rental. We did a cash out refi six months after purchasing and after paying back the original 47,000 we had into the deal, we walked away with a check for over $21,000 in tax free money. And it cash flows almost $200 a month after all fixed expenses and reserves and property management. So with this property, we got the best of both worlds, a large single profit with the cash out refinance, monthly income each month from cash flow, long-term appreciation, principal pay down, and the tax advantages. Damn. Mm. <laughs> we think keeping this one was absolutely the best choice. In this video, we covered our top four reasons why we love rental properties and how they differ from flips. But we do not want this to be a one-sided conversation, so we'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Are you team flips or are you team rentals? Drop a comment below and let us know. And if you want to follow along with us, where we actually deep dive that deal that we just spoke about, head on over to our channel at Rentals to Wealth. We'd love to have you with us. We'll see you guys next time.